He didn't like the word creative, but I think that there's something attached to um, eccentricity and creativity that attracted him and originality. So that, uh, for instance, when Uri Geller was around, he went off and checked out his particular powers. So he would be looking to see if someone had something new to offer. And um, he was interested also in debunking things. And he had heard a lot, you know, the new age, so to speak, uh, has a lot of interesting theories and picks off a bit of the physics, too, to substantiate some of these ideas. And um, I think it was somewhat his duty in his mind to uh, set some of these things straight. So Esalen is a mecca for unusual concepts. And yeah, the fruits, nuts, and flakes, no doubt. But, um, but there's a lot of really good work that's going on here. And of course, it's heaven. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, let's see if I can phrase this right. You are an original thinker. I would like to ask you, how would you go about designing maybe a miniature, somewhat smaller, the Grand Coulee, an anti-gravity machine? I can't. <laughs> that you could use for... No, I can't. <laughs> I don't know how to make any anti-gravity machine. You would make the most problem. It doesn't make any difference. I still don't know how to do it. <laughs> uh, what the game I play is a very interesting one. It's imagination in a tight straitjacket, which is this, that it has to agree with the known laws of physics. I'm not going to assume that maybe the laws of physics have changed, then I can design something. But I try, supposing it's everything that we know is true, as we think it is, as if we do. If we're wrong, of course, we can redesign something with the new laws later. But the game is to try to figure out with what we know what's possible. So it requires imagination to think of what's possible. And then it requires an analysis back, a checking, to see whether it fits, it's allowed according to what is known. Okay? And in the case of an anti-gravity machine, I immediately give up because my understanding of the laws of gravity are such that I don't see any way, it doesn't make sense for anti-gravity. The only anti-gravity machine, that is things which oppose gravity, which are very effective, are things like you're using now, a pillow or a floor under your behind. That is an anti-gravity machine and will support you in space above the earth, a few feet in this case, for un unlimited time. Yes.